Convection. So, we've looked at conduction and we found that both liquids and gases are rubbish at it. But, heat can transfer through them fairly easily. And the way it does this is by convection. Convection occurs only in fluids. Now, by fluid, we just mean a liquid or a gas, something that can flow. And the way it happens is always the same. So, let's look at the gas particles in this room. They all have roughly the same energy, which we can see because they're all moving about about the same speed. So let's put a fire in the room. OK, now the particles by the fire start to gain energy from it and they start to move faster. And because they're moving faster, they spread out. So that bit of fluid becomes less dense. And because it's less dense, it rises. Now, when those particles rise, they can't leave nothing behind. So the cool air or fluid moves in to replace them. But now this cooler fluid is by the fire. So these particles start to gain energy. And this bit of fluid then becomes less dense than the fluid above it. And it rises, pushing the other particles back round. These are now back by the fire. So guess what? They're going to gain energy. They're going to get even hotter. They're going to become even less dense. They're then going to rise. This is going to happen over and over again, forming a convection current. And that is how heat transfers through fluids, liquids and gases. So what are the key points here? Well, the key points are that in convection, fluid near the heat source gains energy, becomes less dense and rises, being replaced by cooler fluid which then in turn gains energy, becomes less dense and rises, forming a convection current, which then heats the fluid completely.